beautiful people of the internet, and welcome to a very different video. Um, so in this video, as the title probably suggests, we are going to be talking about Snow Tuft, a warrior all the way from Omen of the Stars, who we are introduced to in Fading Echoes as training in the Dark Forest along with many, many other cats. Now, as as far as we know right now, we do not know where Snow Tough came from. There's many theories about him being Snow Kit or him being from Wind Clan or Shadow Clan, being a rogue from there. And honestly, a lot of those theories are pretty creative. But a theory that I have never seen that I think is pretty viable is well the one I'm about to talk to you about this time. Now, first, we might go over some background about Snow Tuft. So, if you already know about Snow Tuft and all of this, and you've read all the books, then you can skip a, um, ahead to the actual theory. I will leave a link down in the description for a skip button. But, also, spoiler warning, big spoiler warning, if you haven't read Omen of the Stars and do not want spoilers, please stop the video here. Go read those books, and then come back and watch the video. Unless you like spoilers. But anyway, let's get into it. So, Snow Tuft is a... As we first see him, he is training in the Dark Forest. We first see him when Spotleaf and Jay Feather are sneaking through their Dark Forest trying to find Flametail. If I remember correctly, I could be wrong about that fact. Sorry, this is completely unscripted, so... I'm just going with it. Okay. So the quote... So the quote... From Fang Echoes, where I believe Snow Tuft is still living, that shows he's still living when we first introduced him, is this from Fang Echoes. Snow Tuft is watching the training session with half eyes closed, which implies that he is sleepy. And as we know, most Star Clan cats and Dark Forest cats do not need sleep. So, it doesn't make sense for him to be a Dark Forest cat just yet, so he has to be alive. Continuing the quote. Until Hawkfrost calls Snowtuff forward, he creeps warily towards Hawkfrost when he calls him, and then he asks if he's ready to learn a killing moves. Snowtuff replies, yes, that's what he's there for. Hawkfrost calls Shredtail to come as well. When he comes, Hawkfrost grabs Snowtuff by the throat and wrenches him into the air, exposing his belly and Shredtail is ordered to tear it open. While Spotleaf and Jay Feather leave in horror, they can hear Snow Tuft yowling in agony. Howling, sorry. This shows that this is most likely the scene where Snow Tuft was killed and becomes a Dark Forest Cat, as there is no mention of his scar, and, <clears throat> and, they just said they were learning killing moves. So if he already was a Dark Force cat, he would have been dead. We never would have seen him again. You know, because his spirit would have faded away. But, in this instance, he is most likely living in this scene. And then this is where he gets turned into a Dark Force cat and become, gets his giant scar. As it shows in his next appearance in Night Whispers when Hawk Frost introduces Snow Tuft to Ivy Pool. And Ivy Paw shivers when she sees the ominous looking scar stretching from Snow Fluff's belly to his ear. And she tries not to look at it. This shows that this is most likely the first time we are seeing him with his scar. And also implies this is now he is. This is now showing him as a Dark Force cat. So, that means he had to be alive before the scene, the scene in Fading Echoes. Alright, so, on to my theory. So, because there is no record of him in any of Wind Clan, Shadow Clan, or River Clan's, um, lists of warriors and stuff, I'm sorry, um, and he is, has to be alive at the certain time as such, so he was 
because he was killed in that first sim when we saw him and became a dark horse cat after that we have to impl we have to understand that he has to be alive so he has to be from a clan because if he wasn't in a clan he wouldn't have the connection to Starkland that would bring him to the Dark Force, because the Dark Force can't just bring in any cat that is evil. As we know, Scourge didn't go to the Dark Force, and Darktail definitely didn't go to the Dark Force, because neither of them knew of Starkland. So, this means he had to be alive. And, what is the one other clan that was actually still around, but just not in the same area? Sky Clan. That's right. My theory, and I really don't, I've searched far and wide for any scrap of proof of this or anyone else's that, this, that has done this theory. My theory is that Snow Tuft was from Sky Clan. And that is why we do not know of his existence anywhere else. Because during this time, we have no information about Skyclan whatsoever. And you're gonna say, and if someone's gonna argue that, um, Hawkwing's novella states stuff that happened during that time, no. That stuff actually happened afterwards. After these books. In between the time of in between the last hope and the apprentice's new apprentice's quest in vision of shadows yeah <laughs> um so we do not get like some of that in between but this all happens before then and during that time we have zero information of what's going on in sky Clan. so in my logical opinion it makes sense for me to imply that snow tough is actually a Sky Clan cat, and he, <clears throat> oh, sorry, and he was from Sky Clan, who still believed in Star Clan and still had a connection to them, even though it might not have been as deep of a connection as the four clans at the um lake. They were still connected to Star Clan, as we find out in Vision of Shadows when. They're trying to get to the lakes. And I just hit my hand. Okay. And also because Darktail took them over in the gorge where they still were. So they did have some connection to Star Clan and still were a clan until Darktail came in. But enough about that. So, that is my theory. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please like, subscribe, all that. Uh... Yeah, it's kind of a shorter video, not really a whole lot to dig into here, um, just basically going over Snow Tuft and trying to figure out where he's from. Uh, I've been, plan I would planned this to do this many, many months ago, but never had time, so this is like completely unscripted, completely raw material for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this, um... And please, if you want to see more of these kinds of videos, please leave uh, comments on what theories you'd like me to cover, possibly. Um, and that'll be all for now. And with that said, make sure to subscribe, like this video, and peace out, my beautiful people. See ya.